In the starting scene of the movie, we see some friends at a party who were so happy. One of those boys' name was Don. He was a photographer, and his friend named Jane was also with him who was also a student of photography. There are also his college friends who are talking about his marriage and college time. Later, we see Don and Jane in a car. They were drunk and Jane was driving the car. Then suddenly, while driving the car, Jane couldn't see a girl and hits her. That girl becomes injured and falls on the road. Jane was going outside the car to help her. But Don was so scared and he stops her from going outside, with the thought of saving her from huge trouble. They left the injured girl there and leave. They were very worried because of this accident. Strangely, there was not any missing or accident report in any hospital or police station. In the next scene, Don captures some pictures on a function. When he sees those pictures, he sees a weird white shadow and the face of a man in it. To confirm this, he observes both negative and original pictures. A senior photographer also analyzes the pictures and checks the matter. He also sees the same white shadow and the face in negative ones also. This makes Don and Jane very upset because it was not normal at all. Jane feels somebody's presence when she was at home alone. Jane sees a girl in a picture development studio. She was coming out of the wash basin slowly. Seeing this, Jane gets scared badly. But she comes to her senses soon. Other than this, Don also sees a girl in face of Jane. But she was not real Jane, but somebody's ghost. When Jane sees those pictures, she gets to understand that it's the ghost of the girl who got killed that night in the accident. Strangely, Dan was feeling pain in his neck after that accident, but he did not know why this was happening to him. Then, Dan goes to a doctor for a checkup and also measures his weight. Shockingly, Dan's weight was double his original weight. It leaves both of them shocked. Keeping supernatural things in mind, Jane goes to a shop that sells ghost magazines. Going there, they get to know that most of the pictures in the magazines are fake. Customers were most likely eager to read magazines like this. There, the magazine's owner shows them an album. He tells that the pictures present in this album are all real. He was trying to prove that supernatural things were exist. He tells that this soul comes to the picture for a reason and captures in it forever. Changes in those pictures were alike Jane's pictures. He tells one more reason why these pictures are real. These pictures are captured from a special kind of camera. It's a camera whose images are not editable. The next day, Dan's friend calls at his house. He was so scared, he was asking for Dan's pictures and that girl. Hearing him, Dan becomes nervous. He wonders how does he know everything. Jane looks at his pictures hitfully. She goes to a college where Dan went. Then she goes to a lab and captures a picture from the same camera. Then she sees the soul of a girl who dies in the accident that night. She gets scared. She feels somebody's presence there once again. She was about to run when a picture falls down. When she goes and checks it, it was a girl's picture. To know more about the guy, she checks college group photos. Upon checking, she finds the picture in which Don was standing with that girl. Jane keeps this picture with her. Jane shows this picture to Don and asks him about it. Here, Don tells her everything. Don tells that that girl's name was Natre, who was his class fellow. They both started liking each other by staying with each other, but suddenly, one day, Dan asked her to break this relationship. It made her so sad, she cut her vein and blackmailed Dan that she will attempt suicide if he left her. Dan also tells that he shared this with his friend as well. His friend said that we promise he won't do anything like this and they will take revenge on her. From that day, Natre was nowhere to be seen in the college. Dan knew nothing about this. Jane asks him that why Natre's ghost is troubling him and her after him. Dan goes to his friend's house which was completely disordered. Then suddenly he sees his friend attempting suicide. In a short time, he jumps off the building and attempts suicide. Now, the wife of that friend meets Dan and Jane. She asks Dan that what happened with your friends and what you people did that everyone is attempting suicide by jumping off the building. The meaning was clear. She tells that all the Dan's friend jumping off the building. Dan gets scared by hearing this. He is compelled to think that he might be the next. Dan and Jane go to Natra's house and they meet her mother there. They find Natra's skeleton on her bed. This means Natra's mother did not do her funeral yet. But why did not she do this? Upon asking, she says that she still feels that if her daughter is at home. Natra's mother tells her that her daughter attempted suicide by jumping off the building. 
the way of attempting suicide was the same between Tan's friend and Natre here. This thing was connected somehow. Her mother tells that that she did not do her funeral because she did not want to send her daughter away. Because she attempted suicide. Both of them make Natre's mother understood enough and after a lot of insistence, she agrees and finally her funeral is being performed. Jane thinks that everything will be fine now. But when Tan and Jane were sleeping, Tan feels something weird and he wakes up. He sees Natra's ghost beside his bed and gets afraid. He comes out of the room to go down the stairs, but it felt like he is running and coming to the same place over and over again on the same floor. He finds Jane standing there. She saws her manipulated veins and asks why did he do this to her in spite of this much love. Then suddenly, Jane transforms into Natra. Then, Tan tries to get out of the window to save his life, but Natra's ghost comes there too. She tries to make Tan scared. Tan gets this much scared that he falls down. The next morning, Tan wakes up in a hospital. They come back to their city. Jane develops some pictures by going to that senior photographer. She observes the pictures by keeping this in a sequence. Upon looking, she sees that Natra's ghost is gradually going to the bookshelf. Jane gets some negatives of those pictures on the side. When she develops the picture, a huge secret is revealed. In fact, the lab where Jane went was where Tan's friends sexually abused Natre. They did this because of Natre's blackmailing of suicide. She told her friends as well. So for taking revenge, they did this. When this was happened to Natre, Tan was also present there. But he was witnessing it but he does not do anything. Rather, he clicked her pictures to save his life and to take revenge on her. The negatives that Jane found were of these pictures. Tan's friend who was son asking about the pictures and that girl was about this. After that day, Natre attempted suicide but started chasing Tan's friends to seek her revenge. Because of her fear, all of Tan's friends attempted suicide one by one. Jane was so angry and she asked more about this from Tan. He accepts his sin here. He says that he did wrong. He says that he still did not forgive himself for this mistake. He says that he regrets it a lot. But, Jane does not pay any attention and does not give ears and leaves. Tan was still really scared because of Natra's ghost. He felt her around him still. Keeping this in mind, he clicks pictures of the whole house with that camera. He wanted to check where Natra is at this time. But, he does not see Natra in the captured photos. He throws this camera away in anger and then a picture is captured. He gets shocked when he sees that picture. In fact, Natre was on his shoulders. Natre closes his eyes by keeping her hands on his eyes in anger. When he could not see anything, he walks randomly and falls off the building. Then, we see Tan in a hospital. He was very injured and had a lot of bandages. He was really shocked that Jean comes there to meet him. She starts crying after seeing his condition. She comes inside to meet him and we see Natre's reflection in a glass door again. She was still sitting on Tan's shoulders. And this movie completes along with the scene. Thank you so much for watching.